So the capped one is primary return. This and this one is return. Ready to return. So on this property, what happened was, you know, the customer said uh, the heating turns on with the hot water. So just a few months ago, the boiler, it was replaced. So they used to have a Kingfisher boiler just below this airing cover. So which was moved to on the side of the wall. Um, <clears throat> so they called me and so the customer said the heating turns on with the hot water so i came here you know i, I found this this one a little bit dodgy so i changed to the new one so it's a written one and it's still same thing happened and then what i did you know i, I just installed the double check bulb on the radiator south radiator side and i hoped it worked but it didn't again all the radiator and uh, most of the radiator they were hot now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the carpet off and then floorboard off and then I'll chase all the pipes so I believe it you know the pipe box might be you know um, it might be different um, or it might be messed up when the boiler was moved so I'll take the pipe you know um, floorboard off carpet off I'll check the pipes and then I'll, I'll correct correct if needed so let's start so i took the floor bar out and this is what i have found so the primary return has been kept off and this is flow to the radiator and this is return yeah and here hot water return and the radiator return is then you can see that's the T which is the return to the boiler so this is flow this is return so this one is capped off and this one is connected here and from there there is a return so in simple way what's happening now you know the return is acting as a flow to the radiator and it just travels all the way you know like it just makes the circuit like this within the flow and return that's the reason why even this double check bulb didn't work so I'm going to correct it what I'm going to do I'm going to take the cap off from the primary return I'm going to cut that pipe out and then I'll cap off on the radiator return and then I'll just connect it to the boiler return pipe so I took the three floorboard out and made the hole so I put on the PVC pipe there
so this is the primary return so done with the PVC pipe capped off so now this is flow and this is return by the radiator and this is the primary return from hot water and central heating and a little bit pipe work so yes This is how I uh, do the work, you know, like if I have confusion, I just make a rough sketch and, and try to understand how the system is working. So here you can see this is the this is the sketch before correction. So on the first day, what I have done is I replaced the mid position bulb, which is, you know, like a really common issue. So when the heating turns on with the hot water then we assume oh it might be the mid position bulb so which i change the mid position bulb same thing happened again the customer said okay nothing changed it's still the problem is same so on second day i install double check bulb on on here this is the flow to the radiator again nothing changed you know uh, still the heating was turned on with the hot water so then I had to take the floorboard out and I check the pipe work and and this is the case what I found so the previously uh, you know the boiler it was just below the airing cover it was the Kingfisher boiler uh, and it has been condemned and it has been replaced with another ideal boiler and it was installed on a different location so the installer what he did this is the primary return for the Kingfisher. So what it was done was, you know, it was just capped off. Means he just put, he just cut the pipe, and he put the end cap here. And this is the return. For the radiator. Yeah, so this is the return for the radiator and the hot water. <clears throat> so here and he put the T sorry you know it's just the roughest case you know um, so here it just sees it's like a return from the from the uh, cylinder but that's that's how it was so <clears throat> so here is, is T you know the, the installer he put the T and made the return to the boiler so what happened was you know um, when the boiler was turned on the flow it goes to the mid position bulb and it goes to the cylinder and from here it doesn't have a primary circuit it enters into the heating system and from here it works with the flow and it just goes all the way to the radiator all the way to the radiator like all the way you know to the radiator and just make a reverse circulation like this so it goes to the radiator like this that's how it was and and then uh, what I did I removed the cap off you know I just uh, I remove I remove this um, end cap and I run the primary flow I remove this thing I remove the T I disconnect this pipe I connect this pipe here and made the primary return so I'll show you the another skates so this is the another case. So flow to from the boiler to the pump mid position bulb, then it goes to the cylinder, and then here I remove the end cap and connect this pipe all the way, all the way 
remove the T, cut the pipe and connected this pipe here and made the primary return. Here you can see cylinder head is on uh, return and now this radiators heating has its own return as well. So when there is no supply you know uh, and when the heating is turned on it goes all the way and follow this path. When no heating then all the way and it goes this way to the boiler. That's that's how I corrected this system and and since then it's, it was done um, 10 days ago and since then I haven't any complaint from the customer and I, I got the good feedback saying okay the system is working correctly now.